So if you've been following this channel for any amount of time, you know that one team I love to talk about a lot is the Orlando Magic. And that's simply because I think they're the team of the future. They're built very, very uniquely in the sense that they're extremely big, but they are also extremely athletic. And they have a lot of big playmakers on that roster. But I think their best player on the roster and somebody I don't think gets talked about enough is Franz Wagner. Uh, the 6'10 wing is one of the best scorers already um, amongst his peers at only 21 years old, while legit being a three-level scorer. One of the best drivers already in the NBA can finish with the best of them while also developing really good touch in the mid-range and from three, while also still being one of the best defenders already in the NBA at only 21 years old. He's so good already with so much room to grow, and yet he's improving so much from his first season to his second season that next year, he could very well be a 22 to 23 point per game scorer on this roster and become an all-star in just his third season. And you would just be hearing about him because the NBA just doesn't push him a lot or just doesn't talk about Orlando enough. So today we're going to talk about Franz Wagner and what makes him so good and why I think that he is in fact going to be one of the best players in the NBA and he is going to be shocking the NBA with the jump he's taking next season and probably look to push for his first all-star berth the Orlando Magic probably being a playoff team next season. Let's talk about it. So I've already made a video talking about the Orlando Magic and what I feel like they're going to be um, next season with the additions of Anthony Black and Jet Howard and overall how I feel like their team dynamic is going to be. But specifically, um, Franz Wagner is going to be, I think, the glue to this entire roster. While Paulo Bancaro is definitely the face of this team and probably looking to be the best player going forward, again, last season, he was very inefficient. And you can tell it's going to take some time for certain parts of his game to develop like that jump shot. And overall, just become a better finisher at the rim. And right now, Franz Wagner is overall just the more polished scorer for this team and the more polished um, playmaker and polished defender for this roster. Overall, I think he's just these tem this team's best player. Last season, Franz Wagner did something amazing and took some elite jumps from his rookie season, averaging 18.6 points per game, 4.1 rebounds, 3.5 assists, a steal per game on 49% shooting and 36% from three, along with 84% from the line. Now, to add on to that, last season, um, you can tell that he was great, but he needed to make a lot of adjustments in this game. He needed to become a better um, in the mid-range he didn't become a better three-point shooter overall because he was very streaky in his rookie year. And he did a lot of that this season. He went from overall, I think, a 31 to 29% mid-range shooter last season to now becoming a 40%, 42% around that area last season. Um, he was up and down, but he still shot 35% from three because he had some really nice hot streaks. This year is a consistent 36 to 37% the entire season. And he mixed it in with more attempts and a lot more uh, variety in how he's taking the shots a lot more step backs a lot more movement shots all while still being one of the better set catching shooters on this roster but his true bread and butter and what i think is going to lead to him becoming elite of the elite on the scoring end it is his ability to finish at the rim and get to the basket where this in transition off cuts or just absorbing contact at the rim now he has just gotten so much better than he did his rookie season and even then his rookie season was great but he also can mix up the way he finishes at the rim too um he initiated a lot more contact this season getting the free throw line more than he did previous seasons but now he also does a very good job of being able to slither to the rim and avoid contact he has great touch around the rim he has a great feel for the floater in the middle of the lane whenever defenses collapses on him um, he's one of the best transition scores in the NBA, ranking seventh last season in points per possession in transition. Um, among finishers already his age, the only players that rank higher than him is Tyrese Halliburton and Anthony Edwards, and that's still including people like Tyrese Maxey, his teammate Paolo Banquero, and Jalen Williams from the OKC Thunder in that mixer that shows you just how good of a finisher he is already compared to his peers. But just the mix of, of finishing at the rim with floaters, great touch, but also really recognizing when defenders turn their head and just recognizing when he should cut and put pressure on the rim when other guys are driving to create driving lanes and create better passing lanes to get to the rim and finish around um, the bigs is just amazing. I mix that in with a 6'10 frame and just being so athletic and sneakily athletic at that and being able to punch it on you whenever he does want to. It just shows you just how good this kid is already and just how much better he can get. Now, I did mention that he's gotten better at absorbing contact, initiating contact. That's something that he was shying away from his previous season. He was averaging a lot of drives with only 2.8 free throws per game. Um, and that got a little bit better this season, averaging four free throws per game. He did look like he got a lot stronger. But th that's the place that he can take the next step in his game as a finisher in the NBA. 
initiating more contact, getting into the free throw line more, average around six per game, and then you think about adding more variety from the three point line and getting better there. Now you add in somebody like Anthony Black and even a full season of Markel Fultz when they're able to put more pressure on the rim, opening more driving lanes and cutting lanes, and overall opening them more. Um, catch and shoots for him which he's great at this season shooting about 40 percent on catch and shoot jump shots this past season he will be one of the best scores in the nba you can mark that down right now but when you have that much rim pressure and that much of an elite finisher at the rim that comes with now defenses collapsing on you and you have to be a good playmaker which france already is but he can become elite on that end already um he already doesn't turn the ball over on drives only about seven percent of the time which is some of the lowest in the league with the volume that he does drive to the rim but what he does do a really good job of is understanding and finding shooters when defenses does collapse on him whether it's on the wings or um in the corners and he does a very good job either as a screener or as a ball handler in the pick and roll or markel fultz as a screener the they average 1.34 points per possession on those possessions with him as a screener you know getting the dump off passes finding shooters or finishing at the rim or creating a good screen for markel to get a lane to the rim to finish and as a um, pick and roll ball handler with Paulo Bancaro, this team averaged 1.1 per points per position with those two as the duo screening. Whether that's him drop, dumping off passes to Paulo in the lane, finishing at the rim, or again finding shooters. And then even with him being the screener for Paulo, they averaged 1.03 points per, per possession. And that's showing that he's doing majority of the, um, the heavy lifting in those scenarios because Paulo was not that great at finishing around the rim this season. So that comes from a lot of dump offs to Franz or a lot of picking apart passes to the corners um, or on the wings to get shooters open. Again, this team is just doing some amazing things with these two, but specifically Franz as now a finisher, a shooter, and a playmaker so far in his career. But what's truly going to take him to the next level as the upper echelons of the NBA is the two-way versatility. He is a very good defender and he's already logged in as a wing stopper in the NBA already. Great anticipation led the Orlando Magic in deflections this past season. Um, doing a very good job of being able to stay in front of his defender and bump him off the drive. He has a strong body, but he's also playing the two and the three sometimes. And a lot of twos and threes aren't as big as him at 6'10". So he does a very good job with his length of bothering them or knocking them off their line of drives when it's guards. Um, elite hands. And overall, just shows a lot of hustle and understanding and IQ on the defensive end this past season. He already said that he did a very good job of being a help defender and got out of his... um comfort zone as a defender this past season and that's also true um being able to get his hands in the passing lanes being able to strip guys when they're going up or when they're driving past him being able to get involved overall he has just a full mix of defensive iq and ability with his frame and effort on that end that makes him already one of the best players in the nba at 21 years old so if you haven't been tuning into franz wagner i think you should now because he's one of the best young players in the NBA and he's going to be a future all-star one of the best players in the NBA for years to come. But if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. I made a video about the Orlando Magic just, I think, a week or two ago talking about the entire team and what I expect from Anthony Black, Jet Howard, the additions to this roster, plus Joe Ingles and other things. So if you want to check that out, it's right here. Um, but I also made a video about France last season. I made a lot of videos about the Orlando Magic. So if you want to check out any of those videos, they're in this playlist right here also. But if you enjoyed the video, um, thank you for watching. This is LFB. That's my time. And I'm out.